Hi folks, Dan from Heidelberg USA here. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about our five color, 90 page per minute digital press called the Lino Print CV. And the thing that makes the Lino Print CV so exciting as well as successful for our customers is the wide range of commercial print applications that it's capable of doing. Um, first, we talk about the range of papers that can be done on a, on a digital press. Uh, this previously has always been a challenge for many digital presses and the line of print CV is capable of running from 40 gram stock all the way up to 16 point board and I've got an example of that we have a 16 point SPS board here of a folding carton uh, sample that we could possibly proof on the line of print CV with spot gloss before we take it to full production on our offset press and the great thing about the machine is with Heidelberg color management, the output quality will look exactly the same whether we do it on the line of print or we do it on one of our Speedmaster presses. The second thing I want to talk about is the size of the substrates that you can run on the machine. The machine has the capability of running uh, all the way up to 13 by 27 and a half inch paper across its stock range. It has the capability of running up to a 49 inch sheet uh, on a lighter stock range as well too if properly equipped. But I wanted to show you an example of that. Uh, the first is that uh, the ability to do six page menus. Okay, so here we have a six pager okay, that we produced on 27 and a half inch paper and then we trimmed it to size. Okay. And uh, this is something that previously you couldn't do on digital presses and you'd have to take it to an offset press. And if we only want 50 of these, um, here we're much more cost effective to do it over on the digital press. Due to advancements in the toner technology as well as the fusing technology of the machine, um, we now have the ability to do synthetics. Okay, and here we have an example of a, uh, a plastic, a clear PET plastic that we have uh, produced offset white on the back. Okay, and what I want to show here is the opacity of the, of the white ink. This is one pass. Okay, absolutely outstanding uh, quality. Building on the synthetic stocks, we also have the ability now to do static clings and window clings on the machine as well too. Okay. Previously, you'd have to do this over on your wide format inkjet, okay, but now for the sizes that are capable within the machine, we can run them on the lino print. Uh, the next is here we have a further example of, uh, of white, white ink. Uh, we talked about the machine is five color, and it has the capability to run both uh, clear or white, and you can switch back and forth between the two in about 15 minutes. Okay, so I could run a job where I could have a nice black matte stock like this on 12 point board. I could lay my white down and if I wanted to do four process color over the top of that, I could reload this into the tray, do a second pass through the machine and I could even apply not only my four color over the top, but I could do a spot gloss as well too. So really expanding the range of applications, really cool applications with graphic arts um, that weren't possible on previous generations of digital presses. Next applications are on textured stocks, linens and uh, those, uh, you know, different uh, type of stocks that have a rough surface. Uh, it could be book covers, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, previous generations of digital presses struggled with getting their the toner down into the nooks and crannies of the, of the paper. Okay, now with the advancements in the fusing technology and the transfer technology that maybe we'll do another detailed video on, um, the machine had, uh, produces uh, output quality on, on textured and linen stocks that is, again, excellent. The last things that I wanted to show here in my samples were a flood coat purple and a flood coat orange. Okay, and the reason I'm showing these are this is a ch obviously a challenging job that often in previous generations of digital presses you might shy away from. Okay, not with the Lino Print CV. Okay, and not with Heidelberg's color management. Okay, now we go after we can go after these jobs in very short runs, uh, very challenging jobs uh, with a wide a wide range of color and uh, again flooding the, flooding the page. Okay, and we get the same output consistency, output quality in terms of uniformity and color accuracy uh, that weren't capable on previous generations of digital presses. There's a little bit overview of the applications on the Lino Print CV. I appreciate you joining us today. If you have any further interest in the uh, Lino Print CV, go to heidelberg.com. 
uh, or also uh, contact uh, your Heidelberg sales representative, and we'd be happy to uh, talk to you a bit more about it. Have a great day.